Greetings and salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Tuesday, June 6, 2023. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Um, <laughs> hi, Kathleen. Hi, Brittany. Hi, guys. If you're watching this live after the live is already over, you can check down below in the description box items availability and their pricing will be down there. And that's with all of the past um, live sale videos also. And if you guys are new to the channel and to the live sales, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for joining us tonight. All the sales or the sale info is going to be right there next to me. You can also read it down below in the description box as well. And oh, also, if you guys could help me think of a giveaway question for tonight, I have a um, super fun giveaway. It is one of those electric lint removers. I am obsessed with these things. I literally have one around me at all times they are amazing you can use them on your clothing sofas blankets whatever is fabric that has pillings you can use this little guy to cut it off and i have one for you guys tonight so this is tonight's giveaway uh hi sister down angel anna edie hello everyone happy tuesday did everyone have a good day today today was crazy for me i told you guys yesterday that Today, I was going to go with my mom to the dealership to have um, her tires switched out. And it took so, so long. We were there for over six hours. Uh, we left the house at like 8 a.m. And then we got back. What time we got? How did you get back? We got back not too I literally got back at like 6.30 because we, on the way back home, we went to go pick up food. And then we got the food back to the house, but they left out one of the boxes. And then I had to go back and then get the food and then bring it back here. So I just like shoveled down my food and then I'm here now. Um, hi, Lady Badger. How's it going? Angela, hello. Sister of a down. Hi, guys. But yeah, it was crazy. Oh my gosh. We were, we were there forever. <laughs> I can't. But the car has new tires. So that's exciting. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Oh, also, I do have a question for today. It was Purse Creator's question. I saved it. So, what was the last book you read? That's today's question. So leave your answer in the comments of this video. It was this morning's YouTube video. Don't forget to give that video a thumbs up. It always does help the channel immensely. And give the live sale a thumbs up as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And did anyone do anything fun today? Did anyone go thrifting? Or did, was everyone just working today? <sighs> I have, I'm like in food coma right now because I just ate. We had Thai food. And we ordered pad thai, um, beef saute. It's like the beef on a stick. And then it also comes with, uh, with the rice. And then we also ordered the, um, it's like the barbecue chicken with rice. And it was so good. It was also delicious. Uh, also, have you guys ever been to this? It's uh, called Paris Baguette. And they have the most delicious croissant donuts ever i have never had one of them before until today and it was right next door to the thai restaurant and when we were waiting for our food to um, be ready we went to get a little snack first because my mom and i didn't eat the whole day we just like stayed at the dealership we just like had um water and coffee and we each had a bag of chips and that's pretty much it so we were starving so we went to go get like a little snack of Paris baguette, and the um, it was the donut croissant in coffee flavor was so good. Oh my gosh, it was delicious! But yeah, it was so good. Oh my gosh, <gasps> no way, Lady Badger! Congratulations! How many bowls did you get? I can't believe it. Lake, like the Laker State soup bowls. Those are so cute. I remember seeing them at the Williams Sonoma store. I've never actually found a Le Creuset like bowl before at a thrift store. Hi Sharon, how are you?
I feel like I have something on my teeth. Okay, but for everyone just coming in, here is the link again for the giveaway. Our question is right there from Purse Creator. What was the last book you read? <sighs> I honestly don't even remember what the last book I read was. I used to read all the time, and I feel like I haven't read anything in, like, forever. Dun dun dun! Do I have everything? Oh, Sharon, I am doing well. Thank you. Oh, you guys want to see? I've been working on this Goyard wallet, and it's almost done. Um, it has been, it took, it's, it's been taking so long. These little dots are so annoying. <laughs> like, I don't know how people hand paint these. I feel like they have, like, a special tool that makes lots of marks all at once or something because it is so intense um, doing these little, like, little line things, like, individually. It is crazy. But I pretty much finished, like up to here and then the other side like I want like around like that so this is like how it used to look like all the like there's lots of parts that were like the paint was like coming off and the writing wasn't as crisp and here's the side that I did and I was surprised I was able to match the colors <laughs> so well I was like oh my gosh I hope this doesn't like take 8 million years to try to match but they matched up pretty good which was very exciting and it's looking so good I'm really happy with how it's turning out it's just taking so so long I think yesterday like yesterday I think I worked on it for like 3 hours and I, I feel like I only did like this much of it like, it took forever, but it's the learning experience, and I feel like it looks so, so good. Now, like, I wouldn't be afraid to, like, try to fix up a goal yard piece again like this, because I know I can do it. It just takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. Oh, thank you, Lily. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. How are you? Hi, Bruce Curator! Oh, Bruce Curator! I remember to use your question! Here's the link for the giveaway. Um, right there. Don't forget to enter. Leave your answer to today's question in the comments. Because today, I'm giving away one of these electric lint removers. These things are amazing. I'm, like, so obsessed. Eliza loves them, too. Whenever he sees any pilling on, like... The furniture fabric. He's like, I need to borrow your, I need to borrow the little machine. He calls it the little machine because he doesn't know what it's called. He just calls it, and he like loves it. Like I literally always have mine like right here. It's amazing. Hi, Don. How are you? Also, Adrian says hi to everyone too. Proud of Paul Smith. <gasps> no way, Tanya. Congratulations. That's cool. I love Paul Smith. Very dry. Oh, man. I haven't been to the thrift store since Sunday. So it's only been two days, but it feels like forever. I feel like recently the thrift stores have been pretty good here. But I feel like it's because a lot of people are doing a lot of that spring cleaning. Um, but for like a month or two before, like prior, I feel like it was super dry at the thrift stores. Like, I feel like... The thrift stores didn't have anything good and everything was like super duper overpriced. But recently I've been like finding some like okay things and some really good things. So I'm pretty happy. Oh, all oh, the, the, the really great manager left. <gasps> That's a bummer. Hardly anything else. Oh, Tanya, I'm sorry. Um, I think there's a Goodwill that, like, the Goodwill that I used to go to in Anaheim that was my favorite store, 
it closed in December of last year and they are they're supposed to like relocate it and I think it's going to reopen again soon so that's pretty exciting <gasps> hi Tara how are you how are you feeling today <laughs> Vadrian did not find the wallet yet purse curator they're still holding on to hope <laughs> <laughs> they literally haven't cashed any of their cards yet or anything either. Because they're just like, no one's used it, so it must still be here somewhere. So, they're still searching. We actually had a conversation about it today. Oh, Sharon, yeah. The prices have been nuts, right? The um, Veterans Thrift, that thrift store that I really like, that's like by my house. I love that thrift store, but recently their prices, especially just within like the past month and month or two, have been crazy. Like they had like this like fabric coach bag that had like holes in the corner. Like the fabric was super damaged and stained, and it was like a hundred and forty dollars. So it was unhinged. Hi, Levon. How are you? Oh, it's Sharon. Hi, Sharon. My mom is doing well. I think um, she's in the dining room with my dad. He just got home and she's having dinner with him. So we spent the whole day today at the dealership and it was insane. But we did a, <laughs> I helped her do a lot of online shopping. <laughs> so that's good. She was trying to find something for my dad for his birthday slash Father's Day. So we were we were scouring the internet for something for him and we found something. So she was able to order that. And then, um, what's it called? I might, I think, I, I still don't know what I'm going to get him for his birthday. His birthday is like literally next week. But I like to be last minute about these things. I don't know why. Um... I was thinking about getting him accessories for what she got him, but I haven't decided yet. Oh, Tara. I hope it's in my box that I get this coming week. <laughs> First creator thinks that you dropped your wallet inside their package. Oh, yeah, did you guys have fun at Something Latte's bag drop yesterday? I'm so sad that I missed it. Yeah, it's the other Sharon. <laughs> Lily Wiggles. I like that name, though. It's cute. Yeah, you guys gotta give um, Something Latte a follow. Her, her YouTube channel is Something Latte, and so is her Instagram, but then she has a... Instagram for her um, reselling business and it's called Bag Crush. Or is it like The Bag Crush? I always forget. It's like The underscore Bag Crush. Let's see if I can find it right here. Something Latte, where are you? Bag Crush. Oh, it's My Bag Crush. There you go. So it's My underscore Bag Crush. Let me leave, a, let me leave her Instagram link. Instagram.com My Bag Crush. There you go. That's her Instagram if you guys want to give her a follow on there. That's her um, her reseller Instagram. And then her regular Instagram is something. And then she should have all her links in both of those. So you can check out either one and then you should be able to get linked to all her other um, socials and stuff. YouTube live, July. Oh my gosh, Levon, you're amazing. I wish I had stuff scheduled that far in advance. <laughs> I literally do everything like last second. Like, you're amazing. Oh my gosh, Tara. That's still so, I'm so awful. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, 
right, let me leave the link one more time because there's more people in here than there were earlier. Um, there is the link for the giveaway. Our question is in the bottom left corner. Thank you again, Purse Creator. What was the last book you read? Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And um, today I'm giving away this electronic lit remover. These things are fabulous. I love them. And they're always like sold out. So I got a couple and I'm very excited about it. This one's mine. I literally always have it around because gotta remove the lamp from my sofa. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, actually, our first item is gonna be kind of random. And I have them over here. I'm testing this out to see if anyone would be interested in any of these. I only have one bag for today, but I was going through some of the boys, like, toys and stuff, and then I found, like, this random box, like, with Legos. So I put them inside here. They don't play with these anymore. They have, like, new Legos and stuff, so they definitely don't need these anymore. So, I have this giant bag of... Legos. Um, I don't even know what's in here. There are all sorts of Legos. There's like a palm frond right there. There are some people inside there. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't know what's in here. Just a random box full of Legos or bag full of Legos. And it's pretty big. It's about the size of my head. So it's massive. Right, Dawn? They're so good. Those are amazing. Okay, so this is going to be number one. This is our bag of Legos. And it's going to be $25. So it's going to be item number one. It's the big bag of Legos. Like, those are so expensive, huh? Like, it is nuts. Like, I wonder how much my, like, we spent on this bag of Legos alone. And it looks like, uh, Cindy called it. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay! Yay! Alright, congrats, Cindy. Thanks for getting these Legos. I've been hiding them from Eliza because I know if he sees them, he's going to take them. And he has a gazillion Legos already. So, I feel like there are probably even more Legos than this. This was just like one random thing that I found. And I think we actually donated a lot already. And then we sent a bunch to um, the Philippines. So, we just have so many Legos because like... We buy the kids Legos, they get presents from family and friends, Legos. So, it's just like a gazillion Legos. <laughs> Don, it's okay. Oh, I love Legoland. Legoland is so much fun. We haven't been there in so long, though. Alright, next up is number two. Uh, let's do... Oh, I still have, um, this is that Anthropology uh, mug. It's, it had, it's a Constellation mug, and it's Cancer. And it has this blue interior, and it just has this Constellation design with gold stars all over it. And then it says Cancel, Cancer, Cancel, Cancer right there in gold. And, yeah, it's in really great shape. It's super duper cute. And I love that it's blue on the inside. With this beautiful blue blue inside of there. Sharon. <laughs> oh, Cindy, that's awesome. Yeah, he's just like the boys. Like, especially Eliza, though. He loves Legos. Oh my gosh, right? Eliza will just have, like, a couple of random Legos and I won't see them. But luckily, I always wear my sandals or something around the house. So, 
I haven't like stepped on you any on any with my bare feet, but it's happened before and it hurts. Okay, so this is our anthropology um, cancer constellation mug with blue interior. And then this one, we're just gonna do this one for seven dollars. This is gonna be item number two. And then number three is next. And we have... Okay, I still have this beautiful Tory Burch um, shoulder bag. It's in navy blue leather with gold hardware. It's in really great shape. Um, the most wear that it really has is on the hardware right here. It does have some color loss around by where the um, the little hardware connects, just from like hitting the hardware when it open and close it. But otherwise, the bag's in really good condition. All of the corners are really good on the bag. It doesn't have feet. There's a nice big back pocket right there, and there's a nice large front pocket right here as well. And then that snaps closed. And the main compartment of the bag does zip. And the interior has one zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And it's nice and clean on the inside. There's no stains or anything. Oh, that's awesome in here, Cindy. Oh, yeah, Levon, right? It's always, like, the carts that have, like, the best stuff, because that's all the new stuff that they bring out. I feel like I don't really find anything hidden that much anymore. Like, I feel like before, these people used to hide a lot of stuff. I don't know if, like, the uh, employees are just getting more savvy with finding stuff that's hidden or something, but I feel like I haven't seen, like, anything really good hidden away, like, somewhere randomly. I used to check, like, all the time, like, everywhere to see if I could find anything. And I have found some pretty cool stuff before, but I feel like recently I haven't found anything. Okay, so this is going to be item number three. This is our navy blue leather Tory Burch shoulder bag with gold hardware. And the straps are nice and long, so they will fit really nicely on your shoulder. And you can carry it on there. And this guy is going to be... Okay, this one is $75. That's number three. Okay. Up next, we have number four. Uh, let's do oh this is a um, a Patricia Nash wallet and it is in this brown leather And it's like this woven leather with brass hardware. It has like this little belty detail right here. You pop that open. And then the interior has a clear ID and a bunch of card slots and slip pockets and all that goodness. Um, your phone will fit inside. So you can use your phone inside of here, just keep it inside of there and it will still close really nicely. So this is number four, a Patricia Nash a woven leather um, wallet. And how much is this one going to be? Patricia Nash. Okay, this one's going to be thirty-five dollars, you guys. That's going to be item number four. Oh, I forgot to put the color, but it's it's brown. It's like a brown leather. 
It's really nice. Yeah, I thought it was like a Bottega when I first saw it. The woven leather is beautiful. Okay, next up. We have number five. Robin Beater? Oh. I thought you said something. Okay, our next item is going to be... Oh, okay, this is a red Claire Vivier belt bag, and it's in this bright, bright red color, and it has a contrasting brown leather um, belt strap, and then you can also wear this as a belt bag, and it has gold hardware, there's a little Claire Vivier charm right there, and then interior is lined in chambray fabric. And that is just a little piece of lint. But yes, nice and clean inside and out. The piping too on this bag is in that contrasting brown color. And you can wear it like a body bag or around your waist, but it's a really good length. And it fits your phone, it fits a wallet, beautifully inside. I wonder if it'll fit a full size wallet. Okay, it's um, it would almost fit a full size wallet. Maybe one a little bit smaller. Let's try this one. Almost. Okay, not a full size wallet. So full size wallet's not gonna fit. You're gonna need like a three fourth size, but your phone does fit inside beautifully. This is our red Claire Vivier. Um, belt bag with contrasting brown leather trim and gold hardware. And this guy is, okay, let's do 75 for this guy. And this one is in like new condition. This one's in really great shape. There's no marks on it and super clean on the interior. And... Uh, Clear VVA bags are made locally here in Los Angeles, too, which is pretty cool. So you got that. Oh, um, and I told I was showing you guys yesterday that I had this bag in black. So I have the pink one right here. Where's my black one? <gasps> is it squished? Okay. So I do have, um, I have <laughs> this bag in two colors. I have it in the black and the pink. They're both in like new condition, um, both with silver hardware. They're like little camera bags and they are rag and bone. So one's going to be number six and then one's going to be number seven. Um, how much were these, Vadrian? In the interior they, of both of them, they just have three built-in card slots on the inside. Um, the interior of the black one is in black fabric and the interior of the pink one is in a tan. So, number six will be the black rag and bone camera bag with silver hardware. And I think we had this one at 75. We're going to do 65 tonight. That's going to be item number six. Or number, yeah, number six. And then number seven is going to be the pink rag and bone camera bag with silver hardware. And this one we're going to do for 55. And that's going to be item number 7. For the pink one. And then next up, we have a number 8. Okay, for number eight, I have the Tom and Jerry Kate Spade wallet. It's super cute. 
There's um, GRE right there. Why is it not focusing? There you go. Jerry's right there. And it's in like this red and then the pink. Uh, I believe this is a, I think it's a, no, I think it's a, I think it's a printed leather. The cheese is glittery right there. And then right here, like the door frame is glittery. So cute. Then we have the Kate Spade hardware. And then inside we have six built-in card slots and then we have a little um, cash pocket right up top and this is in really nice condition too oh there is also a back pocket right there and then there's a change pocket that has a zipper up top and then it's nice and clean on the inside so this is number eight our Kate Spade um, Tom and Jerry wallet with gold hardware. 55? 65. See, Vadrian, I can't hear you. Alright, so that's going to be item number 8. Isn't it cute, Lady Badger? We love Tom and Jerry. Remember when I had the matching bag? That bag was so cute. It was like a little crossbody. I think it was like the exact same design too and the same colorway. All right, so we got Tom and Jerry. Next up, I have... <gasps> okay, I still have this. So this one is still available. Um, I've gotten a couple questions about this one throughout the day. So it is still available. Um, it is the pink jelly coach tabby. These sold out like really quickly. Um, and this one is in brand new condition. So it has all the packaging and stuff. I just don't have the dust bag for it. Um, it still has the care booklet inside and it has a crossbody. We have the little wristlet strap right here. They're both removable. Crossbody strap is adjustable. Then we have the little coach hang tag right here. And she is so cute. Here's the back. Here's the bottom. This is such a cool bag. I wish like I wish they had this in green still, because this bag is so cute. <gasps> Tara, were you okay, I knew someone had this bag in purple and it was you. Do you love it? I wish this was purple. I love the purple one. It's so cute. And that, the purple and the green ones were, I think, my fave. I think they still only have, like, the glittery gold one available on the Coach website. All the other colors have sold out already. Okay, so this is going to be item number nine. This is our Coach um, Jelly Pillow Tabby in pink with silver hardware. New... And this one was how much, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to discount this one to under $300. we are going to do $295. The resale value of these is over $450 um, in this condition. So, a good, good deal. It's really, it's it's cool. It's like kind of squishy. So you can squish it around. It's not as soft as the pillow tabby, but it's the jelly tabby. And it's really cute. It has like this opaque pink color. So like you can still definitely see through it. But it's really cute. Ooh, could you use this at like, um, like when you go to like a concert? Would this still be considered see-through enough to be able to bring into a concert? I wonder, because that would be really cute if you could bring this with you. Yeah, Kathleen, exactly. Those remind me of jelly shoes, too. I remember my sister used to have jelly shoes when she was little. She was obsessed with them. She had pink glitter jelly shoes, purple jelly shoes, and, like, rainbow. 
Oh, Levon! That's amazing. I love the green one. It's so, so fun. Congratulations. Next up, we got number 10. And for number 10, I have... Um, I have this mulberry crossbody bag, and it's in this brown, like golden brown leather with brass hardware. The strap is convertible, so you can wear it as a crossbody, or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. And the leather on the exterior is in pretty good shape. It will patina more over time. You can see that there are, like, some marks. I think that one's, like, the most obvious one. But it's, I love like the, do you see like the um, striations in the leather? That's so pretty. I love when leather has that. And then you turn the lock right here and the interior is all suede. And it just has one interior zipper pocket inside of there. And it's nice and clean on the inside. My version of jelly shoes are my Crocs because they are they feel like jelly. I love them. Except my platform Crocs. Um, they One of the, my left shoe is doing that thing where you hear like this cracking sound inside the shoe. Because like I guess like the inside of the shoe, it's not solid. So it has like um, little pockets with like little walls inside, you know. And I guess one of the pockets broke. So now every time I step down on that one shoe, it makes like this cracky sound and it's so annoying. Like I hate it, but I, I still love them. So I don't know what to do. I know there's like pretty much no way to fix it, um, but <laughs> I'm just wearing them around the house making those cracking sounds. Okay, so this is our um, mulberry bag. What happened, Adrian? Golden tan um, flat bag with brass hardware and how much is this one okay we're gonna discount this one to 150 tonight if anyone's interested 150 dollars for our mulberry bag it's so cute and it's a good little crossbody it's a good size too all right next up waiting patient for the fall Oh my gosh, Levon, the Rexy shaped bag is so cute. I love all of the different shapes that they're doing. It's so cool. All right, next up, we got number 11. Hi, Linda. Oh, give her hugs for us. Oh no, Gianna, I'm sorry. All right, next up, we have number 11. Is it 11? I think it's 11. Right, Lily? Oh, Lily. <laughs> I know that's you, Sharon, but I'm just going to keep calling you Lily <laughs> because it's easier, I think. Um, right? Like, now they have a jelly everything. Like, every designer has some sort of jelly something or other. Like, Chanel has the jelly shoes, jelly bags. Um, everyone has them. Oh, Gianna. Maybe, he, maybe they're not getting the message. Oh. Okay. Um, this is a coach sling. And it's in this brown leather. And it has the like like little fruit and mushrooms and flowers on it with brass hardware. Yeah, don't don't worry. If you if they're not messaging you messaging you back, then they're definitely not the love of your life. Someone out there is some, someone out there is looking for you. <laughs> you 
<laughs> it's okay. Um, crossbody strap, adjustable and removable. I love the little turn lock right here that's attached to the zipper pull. You get this open and then the interior. Oh, it also does have the hang tag. I just have to reattach it. I just keep it inside because it fell off once. Then I got traumatized because I thought I lost it. And then interior, it does have some marks at the very bottom. I'm going to try to clean them out further, but there are a couple little marks there that may or may not um, come out more. Okay, so this is number 11. This is our brown coat swing. And with swinger. With garden theme and brass heart. And this is how much? Okay, we're going to do 120 for this guy. That's going to be item number 11. Okay, number 12 is next. Maybe he's shy, Gianna. Adrian, that's not helping. Hmm. I don't know, Gianna. Maybe he's out of town. Business trip. Uh, this is a Kuyana crossbody bag in black leather. Um, right now I have it kind of like the belt bag style. You can actually change it up. So right, um, right now it's attached to the back and then it's like a belt body bag. Or you can take this strap off and put it through the top and then it becomes a shoulder bag. And it's all leather inside and out. And it has just one interior pocket on the inside right there. Is someone ringing the doorbell? I don't even remember the last time anyone's rung the doorbell. Is there a package? Oh, it's a package. Who got a giant package? Is it me? No, she just ordered it today. How could it be that? Um, hold on, guys. I'm just going to go grab it because it's like the UPS person. I don't know if anyone's going to go get it. False alarm. I thought it was mine, but it's for my mom. <laughs> I was like, no one ever rings the doorbell. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, for sure, um, Lily. Like, vintage MK bags, a lot of them are totally different on the interior than the newer ones, so... There's very many um, differences that there can be. You can put photos in the um, in our Discord for like the authentication section if you like. Oh my gosh! Did someone say apple pie? I love apple pie. Oh, Lady Veg! I love MC Wallace bags. They're the best. Oh no, I froze. Okay, so, um, Kuyana. This is our black Kuyana flap bag. And this one is. Fading. It's the belt bag that I've been showing. Okay, this one's $85. That's number 12. All right. 
<laughs> I wish I could do an unboxing, Sister of a Down, but it's my mom. I don't know what it is. So. Okay, next up is number 13. <gasps> Look what I have on Pikachu. He's wearing mustard. Pikachu's so cute. So I have, this is that Chanel um, backpack in yellow. It's clear up top. And then um, turn lock opens up. That's the interior up here. And it also does have like this yellow enamel part around the CC logo hardware on the top flap. And the um, back straps, the top strap right here, like the little um, top handle, it actually extends. So you can also wear this bag on your shoulder, which is a really nice option to be able to do. And it opens up at the bottom. It kind of reminds you of like a makeup bag, like the way it opens at the bottom. And then it's fabric lighting on the interior. And then it has a little um, serial number sticker down there. I said he saw me on Facebook and I wish I Oh, Kathleen. Oh, Tanya, I wonder what's wrong. And how much is um, mustard paper? So here it is. Ooh. So we're still, okay, we're still going to do this one at our uh, discounted price. So this is our yellow Chanel backpack, clear top with yellow quilted leather and silver hardware. Okay, we're gonna keep this one at our discounted price at $1,850. And that's gonna be item number 13. And then 14 is next. That's so cute. My mom has, um. Ketchup. So ketchup is still in the family. But a little mustard is looking for a new home. It's such a cute bag. Like, ah, uh, love it. I just wish I wore backpacks more. Time to change. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of, like, crazy stories about people on Facebook. Oh, Tara. That's amazing. 23 years. Oh, thank you, Eclair. Yeah, if you guys give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. I greatly appreciate it. All right, next up, we have 14. And for 14, I have... Um, this is a... I forgot the name already. Um, the Simple? The simple or Standard? or uh, This is a Vintage Coach. And it is in, like, this taupe tan color. We have the original hang tag right here. And then we have the um, shoulder strap. You can wear it as a crossbody, but it does sit like higher up on the body. And it has brass hardware. It has a chunky zipper, which I love. I love these vintage chunky zippers. And on the zipper pull, a wristlet is attached. So you can take off the crossbody and just use this as a wristlet as well, which is fantastic. The interior is unlined, so it is suede on the inside right there. And this is um, vintage, made in New York City. It has one of the, like, the stuck-on leather uh, serial number things right there. Basic bag, I think, is what it is, right? And then it also does come with this little coach uh, dust bag that has all these cool, like, coach things inside that came with the bag so this is really cool i've never gotten a bag that had these things in it before so this was very exciting um the bag is in pretty good condition 
Um, I think the last time we determined that the bag is probably before or around the 1980s. I think is what we figured out. And the exterior is in pretty good shape. Um, I've just left it as is because I know, I feel like this is going to be a good bag to dunk and it's going to look fantastic afterwards because it's actually in like pretty good condition. It just has like light marks. And from what I've seen when people dunk bags that just have like these like general light marks like this, they pretty much all will come out. But yeah. Such a pretty bag. I love the color. The leather is amazing. You know, vintage coach. And this one is number 14. Our vintage coach basic bag in taupe with brass hardware. And this is how much we did? And this one's going to be $80. And that's going to be item number 14. Next up is number 15. <laughs> Lady Badger. <laughs> All right. And... I don't think I've ever found like a vintage coach that was new with tags. This is the first one I've ever found that has like all the little booklets and stuff that comes with it still. Uh, so that that was really cool because I've never found those before. The seventies. All right, next is gonna be item number fifteen. <laughs> These are cracking me up. Uh, let's do... Oh, I have this super fun Patricia Nash. And this is a... It's a round bag. And it has this beautiful, like, design on front. It's like a floral embossed design. The bag is in suede, and it has this really long suede fringe. Cross body strap is adjustable. There's a back pocket right here. Um, there is a little bit of discoloration right there. This is where the magnet is for the strap, or for the strap, for the pocket. Um, but that, this is the back. And then you open it up. Interior is nice and clean, and it has three built-in card slots, and then it has a zipper pocket back there. Lady Badger, I will. Um, but I think it's, um, it might be a little bit harder because I think the bags before a certain date, they don't have like numbers on it where you can tell what year they were made. So it's either like, like that bag could have been from the late seventies, early eighties, I think. And then like, you know what I mean? So, but we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure it out, Lady Badger. Uh, so this is our Patricia... Nash, uh, tan suede leather round cross body bag with fringe, and this guy is gonna be okay. We're gonna do forty five for this guy. Other than like the mark on the back where the button is, the bag is in really really great condition. It's going to be item number 15. Lady Badger, stop. You're not old. Okay, 16 is next. Is anyone watching any good TV shows right now? I started watching... Um, I don't know if anyone has watched this show, like a TV series called Cruel Summer. And I started season two. And I honestly am so confused with what's happening. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I'm asking. If anyone knows. Because, like, I remember what happened at the end of last season. And, like, now it's, like, 
is it like a whole different show and it just takes place in like the same general vicinity or is it supposed to be like the the children of their parent like the parents when they were younger i don't know but congratulations lady badger called number eight what was that movie? number eight congratulations <laughs> Woo! It's very well. Okay, we need to find a Bonnie Cashin for Coach Label. Pre-create stamp, either metal tag or stamped. Ooh, oh, Don, did you like it? Demon Slayer is so good. I watched all the Demon Slayer too. And hi, Bevin, how are you? Long time no see. The kids are are they love Demon Slayer too? I think isn't there a new season that's supposed to come out? Does anyone, um, oh, Vaderin hung up. Um, I'm trying to finish, like, My Hero Academia right now. Like, I'm not caught up with it. I just let it go. So, and then, um, oh, has anyone been watching Dr. Stone? The new season is out. Well, started also. <gasps> Wait, Angela, is it the new, is it like the new season of The Witcher or is it like the old Witcher with Henry Cavill? I honestly, like the new Witcher is like not my favorite. I really wanted to continue, I really wanted them to continue with the older one. I feel like I liked the original one better. Oh, it's okay, Bevin. We appreciate you. Ah, uh, I love my hero. Wait, 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 Dom. Were you talking about my hero? Right? Yeah. Oh, wait. So, did you also watch um, Doctor Stone, Don? Yeah, Bevin. Demon Slayer is so good. But um, Doctor Stone, I feel like, is so good too. I just feel like it's so cool. I love like the way like they're like re like he like. Is like kind of like reinventing everything. It's just amazing. Okay, um, sixteen is up next, and I have this is a Furla wallet, and it's in a black Safiano leather, and then it has this. Uh, it's like a leather pineapple on front, and it has a like a metal circle in it, and it says Furla. It has a little snap compartment, the inter or a little snap right here in the front, and the inside is in this bright purple card slots back there. Nice clean change pocket right there, and then opening, and then a slip pocket right there, and then more card slots right here in the front. This wallet is in like new condition. It's beautiful. Also, there is a pocket there in the back as well. Oh, so this is this, the upcoming one is the last season with Henry Cavill in it. <gasps> okay, I'm going to watch it then. Because I love, like, the original. I, I really like that original storyline. Oh, yeah. All of the Airbender stuff, so good. I like Naruto also. I, what, I didn't really get into a burrito or whatever. It, it, it's burrito, right? Um, I never really got into that, but Naruto, so good. Oh, because they're not following the books. Okay, yeah, that's understandable, though. I know he's, like, actually, like, really into, like, video games and stuff like that. Like, he's actually, like, a like a nerd or something, right? Henry Cavill, he, like, builds computers and uh, for a lot of wallets. Leather with pineapple. And this is how much you Okay, we're going to do $50 on the furlough wallet. That's going to be item number 16. Hi, Maria. How are you? But that is number 16. Seventeen is next. And I have this black coach wristlet. And this is in a patent Safiano. So this is just like... The, this is just leather. But it 
like because it's patent and the texture of the wallet it looks like it's like shimmery and shiny but this is just the texture of the leather and the patent that makes it look like that it's so so cool and then it has um brushed brass hardware this is a pocket right here in the front this wallet too is in like new condition and it has a little wristlet attached to the zipper pull and interior has six built-in card slots and then there's a slip pocket in the back as well just black fabric interior lighting and yeah it's in like new condition it's a really really nice pouch wristlet okay, this is our black patent Safiano leather coat wristlet with a uh, brushed brass hardware. And this is Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna bring this down to fifty dollars. I think the retail on this thing was like three hundred and fifty dollars or something crazy. Um so that's gonna be number seventeen. Tom and Jerry have read a mark that one. That was number eight, right? Yeah. Okay, up next, number eighteen. Mm -hmm. Kelly and That would be cool, Levon. Okay, next up. Uh, 18. Oh, I still have that Mark Jacobs Heaven sweater right here. It's a size extra small, but it's oversized. Like, it fits me. So, this would be either like a women's large, extra large, or like a men's like medium large and it's in this beautiful green it has purple trim around the neck and the arms and like the bottom and then it has a noah's ark design on it and this is like all like embroidered on really really cute it's from the mark jacobs heaven collection i think it was like this past fall season and it's gonna be number 18 Heaven Noah's Arc Green Sweater, size extra small. And this is how much we are for this guy? Okay, this is going to be $150. Uh, yeah, Gianna, it's Mark Jacobs Heaven. So it's his Heaven collection. Here's like the little, um, it's that his logo is like the little two headed bear right there. It's super cute. I told you guys the story about um, the first play I was in when I was little. We did a Noah's Ark play and I was one of the unicorns. So fun. I need to find that photo. It was so cute. Me and, um, it was my friend Anne. She was also a unicorn with me. <laughs> and we, <laughs> yeah. It was kind of daunting because I remember, um, we went to a really small, like, private school. And we were, like, the only grade level that was, um, like, first grade. Yeah, first grade. So, like, it was, like, a couple grades all together. And we all did, like, the play. So it was a bunch of different grade levels. And then, yeah. But we were, like, tiny. So most of us, like, the little kids, like, we were just, like, the animals that went, like, walked in pairs into the ark. And that was pretty much all we did. Because we were, like, tiny kids. Well, I wasn't tiny because I was huge when I was small. I was like, everyone thought I was going to be like seven feet tall when I was little. Boy, were they wrong. 
<laughs> Adrian is laughing at me. No, but seriously, when I was little, I was huge. Like, I was, like, 90... I was always in, like, the 90th or higher percentile in height for my age. And, like, being Asian, that's, like, not very... Um, it's not something that normally happens. And I was, like, always really, really tall. I was always the tallest kid for, like, a really long time. And then I just stopped growing. Like, in junior high. Like, and then I never grew again. I was, like, literally waiting for a growth spur. I've been the same height since junior high. <laughs> hey, Anne, how's it going? It's okay. I'm just telling them about how short I am. You did You haven't missed much. Oh, but you did miss the coach. I showed the coach again. That pink jelly tabby. So cute. Let me show it to you again. I know you love that bag. Ooh. Okay. Next up, this is a coach swing. I think. And it is uh, the cherry design. It has a little hang tag right there with the cherries on it as well. And it's so cute. It's in like new condition. Brass hardware. Little top handle. It doesn't have a crossbody strap though. And Tara's calling number nine. Huh? The coach. Oh, Tara, you're calling the coach pillow tabby? Congratulations! Yay! Woo! All right, congratulations, Tara. And then interior has three card slots. This one's super clean inside. <laughs> and this gives you a chance to sell more stuff. Ah, uh, Sharon, he's so lucky. Yeah, but like, um, I remember like growing up, my like my pediatrician, like every time I went to go see him, he's always like, "What are you feeding this kid? He is so tall." Da 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 da, and he'd be like, "How tall is his dad?" And my mom's like, "He's five five. and she, he's like, "Oh, your son is so tall." And then she's like, "Well, my dad was six three. and then the doctor would be like, "Oh, that's where he gets it." He's probably going to be 6'3 or taller. And then I was always growing up, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be so tall. And then junior high, I, it, just, I, it stopped. And then my dad like, then my dad was like, oh, boys don't stop growing until they're like 18. And he's like, you're going to get a growth spurt soon. So I like waited all through high school. Never had a growth spurt. And then when I was 18, I was like, dad, I didn't have a growth spurt. He's like, don't worry, boys don't stop growing until they're like 21, 25. And I was like, maybe I'll get a growth spurt later on in life. It never came. Like, <laughs> I think I might have grown, like, an inch since junior high, and that's, like, pretty much it. It just stopped. But, yeah, so that's the story of how I never grew <laughs> after junior high school. <laughs> I was so sad. I remember, like, in junior high, I was like, yeah... And then, like, all my, I was always taller than all my friends. And then in junior high, all my friends grew taller than me. And then suddenly I was the shortest one. And I was like, what is even happening? Okay, so this is um, our coach, Cherry. Hi, Sandra. Um, swing shoulder bag with brass hardware. And this is how much, Peter? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this one for two twenty five. But yeah, right, Angela? Like, it's crazy. You think you're gonna grow, then you never do. Um, but in my immediate family, I'm the tallest one because I'm like five seven ish, and yeah, everyone else is shorter than I am. So at least I'm taller than everyone in the immediate family. Though, we are literally the shortest ones in, like, all our families. Like, my mom's family, um, she's the shortest girl 
out of nine girls, she's the shortest. And she's 5'3". And then, like, after that, like, my next shortest aunt is, like, 5'6". Or 5'5 five five or something. And then, like, she has one brother. And he's, like... My uncle's, like, 6... I think he's either 6'3 or 6'5". And I... Like, his kids are so tall. Because my cousin, his daughter, is 6'3". And then his my his uh, son, my cousin, is, like... I think he's 6'5 or 6'7". He's, like, freakishly tall. And he's, like... The last time I saw him was in 2000... 19 in the Philippines and he was still in high school he wasn't even 18 yet and he was like a giant and he plays basketball and he's really good so it's crazy and he wears like a size 50 shoe like his foot is like this big oh thank you Sharon yeah I know I'm not too short like honestly as far as like Filipinos like 5'7 is pretty it's not like short but it's not tall. <laughs> oh, the Joy Luck Club! I remember that movie. That was so long ago. Oh, yeah, Gene. I feel like my brother feels the same way because he's not that tall either. Oh! <gasps> Isn't there that new um, movie that came out? Or is it a TV series? With, like, that boy in high school. And he is, um, he's, like, a transfer student from, like, China or something. And he is, like, he has powers. I don't remember. I think my parents, I saw my parents watching it. There's also that new Arnold Schwarzenegger TV show. And I think he also has a movie that just came out, too. Okay, also, not to be a gossip, but I can't I did not know that Arnold Schwarzenegger had a son with his... I don't remember what she was. Like, was it one of his... Like, was she, a, like, a nanny or, like, something? Housekeeper? And she was Filipino. I know, is that so crazy? I was talking about it with my mom today. Adrian's like, stop it, you're so gossipy. <gasps> Dawn! Memoirs of a Geisha was such a good book. And they actually did a pretty good job with the movie. Like, normally, like, when I love a book so much, I'm always, like, kind of, like, upset with the movie because it's never, like, as good. But they did an amazing job with that movie. Like, it was really, really good. But the book was amazing. Oh, yeah, you're right, Angela? I think Housekeeper, right? But, yeah, she's, she's, um, she's Filipino. So, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, next up. So, I, I keep getting off track. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I know what's wrong with me. I'm a gossip girl. Number 20 is up next. <laughs> Vader's just like, <laughs> you're out of control. No, but seriously... I thought it was just a rumor, but then I saw it. It was confirmed by my mother and the internet. Oh, Sharon. <laughs> I got all the short jeans from my parents. I was like, Dad, why? All his brothers are like 5'9", 5'10", 5'11". <laughs> Angela. <laughs> I'll never tell, except everyone right now. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. I can't. Our next item is this Marc Jacobs uh, flat bag. It's in pink. It's a light pink. It has like the white uh, writing right there. This is um, it's like a plastic. It's not like metal. Um. But yeah, so this is like a white plastic and then gold hardware. There is a pocket here on the back there. Crossbody strap is adjustable or convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or extend it and then wear it as a crossbody. 
And then the top flap opens up. Look at that fun interior lining fabric. And then there's just one interior pocket in the inside right there. But yeah, this is our Marc Jacobs. <gasps> Wait, are you serious, Don? They're getting a divorce? Or are they divorced? Am I just late to the party? Wait, was this like something that everyone knew for a really long time? <gasps> Vaderine, how could you never tell me this? I'm late to the party? I thought I was I thought I was serving hot tea. It said it's iced tea. I'm red. <laughs> Hi Kathleen. I'm just spreading old news, I guess. Apparently everyone knew this except for me and my mom. How does my mom not know? She knows everything. If anyone's Filipino, she knows something. She like she knows what happened. Okay, this is our pink Mark Jacobs flat bag. Years! Oh Gianna, I'm so sorry. My my I'm not the best gossip girl then. What's some hot gossip that I know? Uh, pink Mark Jacobs flat bag with gold hardware. <laughs> You're late. They've been divorced. Ah! <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'm gonna do 85 for this Mark Jacobs. Uh, okay, well, I don't know any gossip then. I'm not a gossip girl anymore. I'm tired. They'll never let me on the reboot now. <laughs> nope. Wait, did the, re the reboot didn't get cancelled, right? It's still on. No? Huh? Like, are they gonna get another season? <gasps> Wait, they were pregnant around the same time? Escandalo. Sister, <laughs> I know, I live in California and I didn't know. Uh, wait, how long ago did this happen? I might have been really busy. <laughs> Sharon, see, you have a reason to not know. He was literally our governor. <laughs> wait, but he was not wait, how long, when, 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 how long, until how long was he our governor? Because he was married the whole time he was governor, right? If it's true, it's not gossip. <laughs> Marjorie. <laughs> That's true. If it's true, it's not gossip. But also, this is really old, apparently. The housekeeper. <gasps> okay, see? He kept it a, she kept it a secret until he was a teenager. He was a teenager a while ago, so he's like a grown adult now. Stop. Well. I thought I was good at gossiping. I guess I'm not. Now I'm trying to think of like what gossip I know that I heard or read recently, and I can't think of anything. The only thing I know is that Apple's coming out with those like... 3D or computer goggle things that are going to be $3,500. But that's not coming out till next year. That's the only tea I know. I also know their stock went down after they announced that. Um, I think that's it. Well, don't rely on me for your hot gossip then, I guess. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> I just kept the secret so well. See, I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Trying to backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up, we still have these amazing Celine sunglasses. Oh, see? Oh my gosh, it said, I, 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 I told Gossip that Anne didn't know. Yeah, $3,500. It's for those, um, like those computer goggle things or whatever. Uh, 
Laura. 2011? I was busy in 2011, that's probably why. What was I doing in 2011? Oh, I was in school. I was too busy schooling it up. That's what it was. Um, these are Celine sunglasses. They are a extra large, kind of like rectangular cat eye style. And they are in tortoise shell with gray lenses. And they're in pretty good shape. They just have some very light marks on the lenses, I think. Or is that just fingerprints? They're mostly just my fingerprints. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I don't think they really have any marks on them. Uh, this is new Celine, so it doesn't have the accent over the E. They make your nose look small, which I like. It's like an instant nose job. He's 25 now? Jeez Louise. He does look like him though. Like I've seen, and he's like also like, he's also like a bodybuilder or something. So, okay, this is our extra large Celine tortoise shell sunglasses. And these are how much here? Okay, these are 130. That's number 21. I can't believe he's 25 now. I'm, I'm that late to the gossip from like 2011. <laughs> Maybe in 2011. I wasn't that gossipy back in 2011. I think I was working in a research lab. Probably. Anyway, let's continue. 22. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. I thought it was breaking news. Okay, I still have this um, vintage Louis Vuitton. It's that double-sided messenger bag. Um, this is my aunt, so I'm, I'm just, I'm selling it for her. But it's old, um... It does have a lot of, like, cracking of the leather around the top flaps. So it's, like, some parts it's, like, disintegrating. But it's pretty much only on the top flap part. Uh, pretty, primarily on the corners. And that's on both sides. Um, the canvas itself is in really great shape. There's no cracking or anything of the canvas. Uh, and it's pretty much just leather around the top flaps. So this top flap and then this top flap. The rest of the leather is in pretty decent condition. It has a pretty even patina. Uh, the piping is in pretty good shape. Like the vachetta is... It just has like some slight rubbing on the corners. But there's no um, damage like as in holes or tearing or anything. Um, you only see that on the top flap. Yeah, classic. I don't pay. <laughs> I don't really pay attention, but I just like to know what's going on. But I guess I didn't know what was going on. What else do I not know about? Okay, so this is our vintage Louis Vuitton double sided flap bag. Um. And then this is as is. And this one is going to be... Oh, the insides too are super clean. Like, the lining is um, really clean. Like, there's one side has a two pockets right there. And then the other side has just one larger pocket right there. Okay, and how much was it, Pedro? Okay, this one's four fifty, and that's gonna be number. I lost it. There go. Oh, there it is. Twenty two. Oh, there it is. Well, it was taking forever to come up. Okay, four fifty. That's number twenty two. Our vintage Louis Vuitton. Next up, twenty three. 
I like sweating. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm not a gossip girl anymore. Next up, we have, uh, this is a Alexander Wang wallet on a chain. This is in black, uh, pebbled leather. I love, like, the grain on it. Like, the grain is huge. It has the metal hardware on the corners. I believe this is the Prisma wallet on a chain. And hardware is in silver, though it does have discoloration. So some of the silver is coming off. It's coming out brass underneath, which I think is kind of cool. I feel like it kind of goes with the look of the bag and the leather. Um, this front part opens up right here. It's a smooth leather underneath. And then it just has one interior zipper pocket, and then it has black fabric lining right there. That's how that looks underneath. There are, like, some marks on the leather underneath because this is a smooth leather, so it will get marked up. Uh, there's that. And then here it zips up, and you have a bunch of card slots in this pocket. Looks about like there's going to be eight card slots in there. And then just the black fabric lining as well. The crossbody strap is adjustable, but it is not removable. And there also is a compartment here in the middle between the two, right there. So you can put your like your cell phone inside of there. That's gonna be number 23. Black Alexander Wang Prisma wallet on chain with silver hardware. And this guy is gonna be. Alright, we're gonna do this one for $65. That's gonna be number 23 for $65. Our Alexander Wang wallet on a chain with silver hardware. Did I sound dramatic when I said that? I was trying to be. I wanna be like, there's like this one lady that does TikTok. And she has, like, this, like, I don't even understand, like, how she does her voice. Like, she kind of, like, sounds like a robot slash, like, I don't know. She's that lady that goes shopping for stuff. Like, she did, like, a series where she, like, she, like, went to go, like, looking for, like, a new purse. And she talks like this or something. Like, I don't even know. I can't do it. I'm embarrassed now. Vader is laughing at me. And she doesn't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm... <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it hurt me, on <laughs> Gianna. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Our next item is this... Why do I have so many coach bags? Um, let's do this Rebecca Minkoff. This is a little cutie. And it is in this like white cream colored Safiano with purple flowers and silver hardware. It has the top handles right here. It does have a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. There's a little front pocket right there with a zipper. It has a magnetic snap across the top. And interior is like this. There's just one interior pocket on the inside. Black fabric lining. Perfect bag for spring and summer. This is going to be number 24. Uh, Rebecca Minkoff. Um, cream Safiano leather satchel with purple flowers and silver hardware. And this guy is going to be... Okay, let's do this one for just $35 if anyone's interested. $35. You want to hear Vadrian's laugh? It sounds like hee 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 hee. <laughs> so then you laugh like that. Oh, for sure, Sandra. Laptop bags? 
Yes. I do have, like, um, I think I only have one laptop bag right now. I, ha I think you've already seen it. It's that black Michael Kors one. Were you looking for, like, a specific style? Or, like, were you looking for, like, one of the fabric ones, Sandra? Angela. <laughs> Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I deleted it. I don't know why it does that. Is it going through? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It deleted it instead of sending it. But yeah, Sandra, just let me know what kind of uh, laptop bag you're looking for. Not like a sleeve, right? Like an actual like crossbody bag or like with a handle or something. Oil change. I just got an oil change for my car. Oh, an oil change ad. How do they know oil changes? I'm like triggered right now by anything to do with cars. Oh, Angela's call number 24. Congratulations, Yay! Angela. Yay! That's a cutie patootie. That was this one, right? I did pick the right bag, right? Now I'm come for. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, 25 is next. Now, number 25, the age of Arnold Schwarzenegger's son. Okay, Sandra, I will keep an eye out. Yeah, the only, like, laptop bag that I have right now is, like, that black... I have a black uh, Michael Kors laptop bag, and it has, like, a built-in sleeve inside of it. And that one's, like, a black leather. Do I have it around here? Hold on, I actually might have it, like, over here. Okay, I have, yeah, this is the only one that I have right now, but I will keep an eye out for you, Angela. It's, um, this Michael Kors black leather laptop bag, and top handle, crossbody strap, back pocket, this is magnetic, it zips across the top, this will fit up to a 15-inch MacBook Pro, there is that laptop sleeve right here that I was telling you about, it has a little snap. Up at the top, there you go, now you can see. There's a zipper pocket underneath that large zipper pocket. And then there's uh, two open pockets on the other side and lining is nice and clean. Oh, Sharon, it's nice to have you. What's up, my fair girly? Aw, she's sleeping. So cute. How old is she now, Linda? This is a uh, black Michael Kors leather laptop bag with hardware. And this is how much again? Okay, this one's $50, and that's going to be number 25. So $50 for number 25, that's our laptop bag. I think um, it's on the 14, I think, Sharon. Okay, next up, 26.
I told you guys that Vadrian is going on vacation. They're still going to be with us during the live sales, but I might be doing a majority of the packaging. How long are you going to be? You're going to be on vacation for like over a week, right? Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's so cute, Linda. Three, that is such a good age. I love that. Oh, Sandra's calling 25. Congratulations, Sandra. Yay! Well, I'm glad we already had some for you. That's awesome. This is such a good laptop bag, too. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, 15th, not the 14th. 15th. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, next up is 26. Is gonna be... Oh, I have this guy right here. This is a little All Saints uh, little, like, crossbody bag? Handbag? Hobo bag? It's in this taupe leather. It's not a patent. I know it looks shiny. kind of has like a glaze to it. And we have the top handle. Crossbody strap is removable and... Well, no, not removable. The crossbody strap is just adjustable. This little, the little shoulder strap right here, this is removable. There's two front pockets right there. And then inside the main compartment up top, it's... There's one zipper pocket and then just another open pocket underneath. It just has black fabric lining. It's a little linty in there, but it is. Um, it doesn't have any stains or anything inside. Uh, and the exterior leather is in fantastic condition. It's really cute. You can wear it on your shoulder like this as well. And then crossbody. Hey, Fatia, how's it going? Oh, how's your how's your face doing? It's number 26. This is our glazed taupe leather All Saints crossbody bag. That's so hard. This is how much, Peter? Okay, this one's $55. It's number 26. Hey, J Sweet, how's it going? Okay, so that's 26. Then next up is 27. Oh no, I think my allergies are starting to attack me. <gasps> oh wait, who's Linda, you're gonna get an ice machine? Okay, next is 27, and we have Okay, I still have this guy. This is such a beautiful bag. It's a Michael Kors Collection Python um, bucket bag, and has little drawstrings on either side of the bag. It has a crossbody strap. This is python leather, so it's not embossed or printed. This is actual, like, snake python. Um, what else? It has the magnetic snap up at the top. And then the interior is in super clean condition. It just has one interior pocket in the back. And then snaps at the top. Here's the bottom. And she's a beauty. My mom actually used this bag for like a few years. And she's given it to me. Well, she gave it back to me. She's like, okay, you can sell this one. I'm done using it. So I was like, okay. But this bag is beautiful. It retailed for over a thousand dollars. And python leather is amazing. It's crazy to feel snakeskin leather.
Okay, so this is number 27. This is our Michael Kors Collection Python Leather um, Drawstring Drawstring Bucket Bag with Silver Hardware. This is how much, Peter? And this is $150. Oh, wait, okay, I have a question. Has anyone ever seen this Netflix show called Pixel Kitty? <laughs> did, we, did I already ask this before? Did anyone watch Pixel Kitty on Netflix? I was talking to my cousin about it um, the other day. It's, it was Christina, the one that moved to... Where did she move to? West Virginia? I always say it's West Virginia, but then she's like, I didn't move to West Virginia. Maryland! That's where she moved to. Maryland. Um, oh, Norma's calling in! Number 27! Congratulations, Norma! Yay! Yay! Uh, you're gonna love it. I guess. Beautiful. Stunning. Uh, but if you guys haven't watched... It, it's... It's... Uh, it's... Like... It kind of reminds me of a Korean drama because it takes place in Korea and sometimes they speak in Korean. But it's, I think it's supposed to be, was it like, I don't know, but was it supposed to be like an American show? It's supposed to be like um, the continuation of To All the Boys I Loved Before, which I did not know until I finished watching it and I was talking about it to my cousin. And she's like, didn't you watch All the Boys I Loved Before? And I was like, no, I never watched that. So, apparently it was supposed to be the continuation. I did not know that. But not really a continuation. It's supposed to be, like, the story of the sister of the main girl from To All the Boys Love Before. So. Yeah, Cindy, right? Like, the the green, the purple, and the pink ones are crazy. Like, I just saw a pink one sold for, like, four fifty, Like, not too long ago. Like, like, a few days ago. So, it was nuts. Norma's like a ninja. Oh, okay, Linda. So, Exo Kitty, it's about this girl. And she... Um, her mom, she lost her mom at a really young age before she ever got to really know her. And she's half Korean and half, like, half white. And then she's the youngest daughter or the kid in the family, so... All, like, her other siblings have gone off to college, and she's, like, all alone at home. And she um, applies to a scholarship to this, like, super prestigious school in Korea that her mom actually went to, and it's a boarding school. And she wants to go over there so she can, like, try to, like, reconnect. Kind of, like, um, like, she kind of just, like, wants to feel like she's in the presence of her mom or like see how like she might have felt when she was in school there and also because she has like a a boyfriend slash like pen pal that she's been talking to um for like the past few years and he goes to school there and she's like well, she thought it'd be really cool to be able to go to school with him so the story is about her going over there and like all the crazy shenanigans that she gets into when she's there and it's like, a really cute show like, recommend. Oh, Norma, you just got home. <gasps> but yeah, it's called XO Kitty. Um, it's really cute. Okay. Uh, next up, we have item number twenty-eight. And let's do... Oh, I still have this Balenciaga wallet, if anyone's interested. But, like, did no one watched Exo Kitty. Am I the only one? Vadrian watched it. Did you like it, Vadrian? Oh, perfect. Yeah, oh, Linda, yeah! You gotta watch. It's, um... The episodes are pretty short, so you can, like, binge watch it pretty quickly. I think there's only, like, eight episodes, and they're all around, like, 30 minutes or something. So, you can get through it pretty fast. 
But we have this Balenciaga wallet. It's um, in tan, cream, gray, and red. And then it zips around. Interior is in the tan color. And inside, there are just a few marks, primarily right there. See, like on the leather right there? And then on the other side as well. But it's nothing like major, nothing like super noticeable. And then the interior, the change pocket is nice and clean. The exterior leather is in pretty good shape. There might be some slight, like, some slight rubbing on, like, some of the, like, by where the seams are. But it's very, very light. Like, you don't, like, unless you look really hard, you're not going to notice it at all. I did a pretty good job cleaning it up. I just didn't want to, like, add any color or anything to it because the way that Balenciaga leather is dyed, if I paint over it, it's not going to, um wear the same if that makes sense so i don't want to do anything to it like that but it, i i don't think i really have to because it's still in really good shape like a lot of the marks on that, that it had on it cleaned off really nicely with some cleaner so this is going to be number 28 this is our balenciaga striped wallet hi boots how are you um this is how much we drink Okay, we're going to do 95 We're going to keep it under $100 for this wallet. 95 for number 28 And also, I'm going to leave the link for the giveaway again. There's a lot more people in here than there were earlier. And I want to make sure everyone has a chance to enter the giveaway. I'm giving away one of the um, electronic pill, um, pilling lint remover things tonight. And these are fantastic. So, um, there's the link. Click on there. Leave your answer to today's question in the comments. Don't forget to give that video and this video a thumbs up because that always helps the channel immensely. And our question is, what was the last book you read? Oh, boot. We missed you, though. We're glad to see you here. Where's my, oh, there's my water. I was like, where'd my water go? What time is it? Nine o'clock. Yeah. Tomorrow I have my weigh-in. And I feel like I just ate too much these past few days. <laughs> I'm full of regret for all this stuff I ate. Um, okay, have you guys ever heard of a... It's... Um, oh, yeah, I don't even remember the name of the cake. But my mom made this delicious pine... Okay, she, I think she called it a pineapple dump cake, which doesn't sound the most appetizing. But it was so delicious. And it's with pineapple. And then the reason she made it was because she was making... Um, what was she making? She was making something else, and she needed to use regular like, pineapple chunks. But then John brought her um, this other pineapple that's, like, squished. I don't... Okay, this story is not even making sense right now. Long story short, she opened up the wrong bottle of pineapple whatever, and then she didn't want to waste it, so she was like, I'm going to make something. And then she found a recipe, recipe for something called pineapple dump cake and used that pineapple and then like yellow cake mix or something to make like a crumble on top and then you just cook it in like a little baking pan and it's so good especially if you like heat it up a little bit or if it's fresh out of the oven and then you eat it with some ice cream it's so good and i literally ate so much of it yesterday <laughs> Linda. but yes it was delicious. Also, I ate a, like, a lot of bread. Yeah, crushed pineapple. Thank you, Don. It was crushed pineapple instead of the pineapple chunks. Gianna. <gasps> yeah! It was so... Okay, they're so delicious, right? Like, I, I'm thinking about it right now, and I want to eat some. It's like, 
and, and the kids really liked it too. So now I think it's something that she's going to have to make all the time because it was so delicious. And apparently it was really easy to make. So she was like, it took like two seconds. And now I want to eat something with ice cream. I agree with Linda and Gianna. Linda's giving you some good advice. Right, KS Love? It was so... And I love pineapple, too. <gasps> Have you guys ever had pink pineapple? Um, Sometimes Albertsons has it, but I think if you go to H Mart, which is like the Korean supermarket, I think they have it, like, more frequently. And it's a little expensive, because I think it was like 14 or $15 for one pineapple. But the pineapple is really delicious. I love, like, the flavor of it. It's so, so good. And it's, like, really pretty. So it's if you have, like, if you want something for, like, kind of, like, a specialish occasion, like, if you're having, like, a party or a little get-together, or you just want to, like, splurge and try something fun, like, with the pineapple, it's really, really good. Highly recommend. But, yes, so good. Ah, uh, can't wait to eat some more. I'm probably going to eat some after this live. Like, I'm thinking about it. Like, I want some ice cream. I don't know why I'd want to drink, like, a coffee with it for some reason. Because I feel like coffee always just sounds so good. Okay, 29 is going to be... Well, right... Go for now. What else do we have? Let's do. Oh, I always forget that I still have these shoes. These are the silver Gani shoes that come in, like with a box and the dust bag and everything. They're super duper cute. They are this metallic um, silver shoe. The retail of these was $300, 295 It just has like this cute, like little knotted detail in the front. These are a size 37, they fit like a size 7. They have, like, the squared-off toe. It still has, like, the sticker kind of still attached on the bottom. Uh, again, size 37. They have, like, minor wear. There's, like, a little bit of darkening uh, around the front and somewhere on the bottom. And then the insoles are in pretty good shape. Just have, like, maybe some slight darkening. Uh, but this is going to be item number 29. These are Ghani uh, Metallic Silver... Sandals, size 37 with box and dust bag. And this is... How much do you think? $85. Feels like a good oh, Kathleen. Potato salad sounds so good, though. You guys are making me hungry again. <laughs> well, I've been hungry. I told you guys I just, like, binge ate, like, some... Um, Thai barbecue <laughs> before the live. And it was really good, though. Oh, and the guy was really nice because he forgot to... He left out, like, one of our orders of... Um, it was, like, a barbecue chicken with rice. And I had to go back and get it. And then when I went to go back, he gave me, like, a free uh, Thai tea. And it was so good. They have such delicious Thai teas. And I only drank a little bit of it because... It has a lot of sugar. And I gave the rest to, like, John and my sister, like, split it. And it was so good, though. It was really yummy. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> they're super comfy. My sister said they were, like, she said they were super soft. But her, she is a uh, size, like, 36, 36 and a half. So they were definitely too big for her, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, Levon, I wish. The one that I found, I got at a, um, it was a buy sell. No, it's not a buy sell trade. It's just a. Uh... Oh, buy sell. It's a buy sell store. Just not the trade part. It was from, uh, what's that? Wasteland. So. Yeah. What number? Oh, what number are we going to be? Are we going to end at 30? One more item? 
Do you guys want to keep going? Like, I don't want to keep you guys longer. I know it's, it's a weekday, it's late, it's midnight for a lot of you guys. So, we could just do one more item, or we can do a couple more, up to 35. You guys let me know. It's still early for me. It's only 9 o'clock here. Oh, Thai! You have to try Thai Barbecue West Coast Scout. It's really, really good. Oh, I love chai tea also, Sandra. Oh my gosh. They used to have this really delicious chai tea mix at Costco. But my Costco, like, it would always have it, like, sporadically. Okay, I'll keep going for a little bit. I just want to chat with you guys anyway. <laughs> so if I go slow, I'm sorry. But we can just chat while I continue. And show you guys a couple more things. Um, but yeah, no, you gotta try Thai barbecue. The 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 restaurant, it's I don't think it's a chain. I just know there's a couple different um, locations in Southern California, but they sell like their Thai barbecue brand. Um, it's like this honey, like a like a honey. Sauce, like a spicy honey sauce, and it is so good with their barbecue chicken. It is delicious. So, I think you can even order it online, but it's so good. Oh, it's for oh, that's right, Sharon. You're in New Zealand. <laughs> I know Sharon's got a lot of time. Okay, we're gonna keep going. You, you, you guys convinced me. We'll just keep going for a lo a little longer. But, uh, at Thai restaurants, like, I love Pad Thai. It's so good. It's like a, it's a noodle with, like, a peanut base. Like, the sauce is, like, a peanut sauce. And it's so delicious. And then the beef saute, it's, like, beef on a stick. And you eat it with, like, a peanut sauce. And it comes with, like, this little cucumber vinegar salad. And, like, the Thai rice. It's so delicious. Highly recommend. So our next item, this is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. So this one's made in Italy. And it's a triple zip pouch. So it has two of the larger pouches that are the same size and the smaller one in the front. They're all connected. And it has a crossbody strap, which you can um, double up like this and wear as a shoulder bag. And it's in pretty much like new condition. It just has like some indentations on the exterior, kind of just from storage and cut and from like the labels and stuff of the interior of the pouch. So then when it lays flat, it kind of just like leaves its indentation in itself. Uh, but this is made in Italy. It's a lambskin and it's uh, has three shades of pink. So this is like a more like a ballerina pink. This is more of like a nude color pink. And then at the very back, this is like a light, light, light pink. So. <gasps> oh yeah boots there is a um where i have to sign up for the next um thrift squad gifts exchange for the summer so that's linked inside the discord group i'll actually put the discord group right now after i put this um item up so this is the mark jacobs collection uh, triple pouch oh my gosh I cannot type anymore let's see okay so it sits like a little bit below my hip like my hip was like right here. So it's just, just a little bit lower. Um, gold hardware. And this one is 85. And boots, I haven't tried the pad thai from Trader Joe's yet. But my mom does make her own pad thai sometimes. And I really like that. But I've never tried any like. The only pad thai I've ever had is the one my mom makes or the one from that Thai restaurant. I've never had pad thai from anywhere else before. 
But yeah, the summer gift exchange is super fun. Um, uh, Gianna, like, we've done three other gift exchanges. We did a Valentine's Day. We did a Christmas. And they're so much fun. And then we, we opened them up live during the live sale. And... Or during, like, one of the lives, we open them up live. I give you guys a link. And then you guys come on one by one. And then unbox what you got. And it's really, really fun. I'm sending myself the link to the Discord right now. So that way... I can... Link that here for you guys. Okay, I'm going to put the link right now in the live chat. So this is the link for the Discord group. And then if you want to join the gift exchange, the link is in there as well. The date for the gift exchange is still tentative. I don't exactly know when we're going to do it. Um, but I just wanted to have the link there already to sign up for the gift exchange. So that way people can start... Um, signing up for it that want to join and then we'll figure out a date soon i'm thinking sometime at the end of july uh would be good but i just want to make sure everyone's going to be like available or whatever have the most people available at that time and we keep losing vader and i think the reception is going wonky or is it mine is that yours or is it mine Oh, okay. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> oh, you want Peter? Oh, uh, is it working now? That's good. But yeah, Boots, homemade pad thai is it's the best. But I love, I love pad thai. It's so good. I hope there's still some more left. I would love to have like a little bit more. That's so yummy. Oh, you know what's good is um, at Trader Joe's. I was thinking about Trader Joe's. Is wait, hold on. Uh, I keep messing up my numbers. Okay, now we're on thirty-one. Um, at Trader Joe's, they have the the sh is it sh no, it's not shawarma it's the I can't think of what they're called they're like those little triangle they're like they're it's like some sort it's like an Indian um <laughs> ah, it's like the Indian version of like a gyoza but they're like those little triangles and then Uh, never mind. When I remember, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> my brain isn't working anymore. Oh, that's right. My mom and I were supposed to go to Trader Joe's today, but we never got to go. Can you guys believe that we were at the dealership for so long? Like, we left the house, like, right before 8 a.m., and then we didn't get back until, like, 6. And then I didn't get back for real until like 6 30 because i had to leave again to pick up the food samosa thank you thank you thank you thank you samosa the samosas at trader joe's are really really good i like i like both they have the vegetable one and then they have the um it's the chicken tikka masala that's good too the tikka masala and the veggies are like the vegetable one are both delicious. John prefers the chicken one, and so does my mom. But I like both. I like options. They're both really yummy. <laughs> Thank you, Spinning Prodigy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You guys know. And of course, the orange chicken is always good at Trader Joe's. That was like a good like um, emergency food. If like no, like we didn't make dinner or something, or like we just need something to make really quickly. The orange chicken is delicious. I also really like the... Um, there's the... What is it called? There's like this cauliflower. That's really delicious. Um, oh, 
Oh my gosh. That actually happened. Yeah. But um, we needed like a new key fob for one of our cars like a while ago. And then we went to the dealership and it took a zillion years. And then the key fob broke. <laughs> it was intense. We were like, no. It took forever. Um, but yeah, like, okay. My parents... So what happened was they, they bought a new car. They um, they traded in. Like, we had this old Suburban um, from, like, 2000. I think it's 2013, maybe? It's either 2010 or 13, or, like, it was our Suburban. And they wanted to trade it in and get a new one. Um and they, I went with them last week to a dealership and it was all the way, like, it was in Addictorville. It was, it was really far from us. It was like, it's over an hour drive. And the lady that my dad talked to, because we were looking for one that has eight seats because there's eight of us. So we wanted to be able to all fit inside the same car. And she said that they had one. We wanted to go look at it. It turned out to be a seven-seater Suburban. So we were, like, kind of sad because we, were like, wanted an eight-seater. And it's been really hard to find one. And then she was like, wait, like, we might have one. We just got one in, so it wasn't in their system yet. And then it turned out to be the car of my mom's dreams. Like, she was literally so excited for it. And we they ended up getting it. But the car, like, um, the car's tires hadn't come in yet and I guess like the grill that this, the car was supposed to have didn't come in yet they're coming like separate so that they don't get damaged during transit so we had to wait for them to give us a call and then bring the car over and like install everything and that was like a week ago and then we brought it back today they said it was only going to take four hours but it ended up taking closer to seven hours to get everything installed so it was very intense. Okay. But that was my story for <laughs> what happened today. It was, yeah. We were waiting forever at the dealership. But the car looks so cute. <gasps> So this is a Kate Spade satchel. I think I've showed you guys this one before. But black pebbled leather top handles, cross body strap, removable and adjustable. This one is in like new condition. The only real wear that it has is that there are some marks on the bottom feet. And it does have some very slight discoloration on some of the corners of the feet. Other than that, though, like, the exterior leather is in great shape. The inside is super duper clean. It doesn't have a zip across the top or any snaps, but it does have a middle zipper pocket. And then in the back, there's like one pocket that has a little snap um, on it. But super cute, kind of looks like a Saint Laurent sac du jour. And this is number 31. So this is our black Kate Spade satchel with gold hardware. How much? Okay, this one's 65. That one's 31. Uh, 65. But yeah, the car, it's like a, it's a, it's white now. Like we got a white Suburban. My mom was like so excited. Cause like, I feel like, um, we've had a couple different Suburbans in the past, like, we love them because it can fit a lot of people and we always have a lot of people and we always have a lot of stuff with us <laughs> at any given time. And, um, every time my parents have bought a, like gotten a suburban, my mom would always settle on the color. Cause it was like, whatever was like, whatever was there at the time. And then this, like now, like this time when they are trying to look for a car, um, she was like, no, she's like, I really, really want like a white suburban. And she almost settled for a black one. 
but she's like really glad she held out. And it's like the car of her dreams. She's like literally so happy. So it's super cute. All right, next item is number 32. And we have, this is the Longchamp round belt bag in black croc embossed leather and gunmetal colored hardware. It has the belt strap right here. This fits on um, up to like a 40 inch waist. Hi Kimberly, how are you? Do you have a good day at work today? I hope your neighbor is not being loud today. I feel for you with the loud neighbors. Um, it zips across the top and inside just looks like that. It's like in this almost like a chambray type of fabric and it still has a little long chomp um, care booklet inside. This isn't going to fit the largest iPhone. If you put it inside, it sticks out at the top. You can like kind of like hold it in place with a zipper and like, just keep it that way. Though it's not going to fully close when you have your cell phone inside. Um, but it's still super cute. And... It says long chomp just right there. It's embossed and it has little stud details on the side with some uh, quilting around. And there's the back. And this is number 32, our black croc embossed leather round long chomp belt bag. And this is going to be how much for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do 195 on this guy. That's number 32. And this one's in like new condition. I think the retail of the belt bag is like 450. So that's number 32. I hope so too, Kimberly. I'm crossing my fingers for you. I hope you have a nice, easy night with no loud car noises. Oh, I have these vintage Celine heels. These are a size 38 and a half and they fit like an eight and a half. They are a uh, printed calf hair, so it has like the Celine logo. Um, and then it has the hardware right here, which I think is so, so cute. It has the heel right here. It has a, I think it's a three or four. Three and a half inch heel. And they're in really good shape. Like they don't have too much wear on them at all. The insides, like insoles are really nice and clean too. The heels are in good shape. It's a wooden heel. And the pony hair is in really great condition also. And again, they're a size 38 and a half. So these are our uh, Celine vintage um, calf hair printed heels with gold hardware, size 38.5. And these are how much? Okay, this one is gonna be $75 for number 33. EB, I have that vintage coach bag and it's from the early 80s. Ooh, which one, EB? Is it the... Which one was that bag again? Adrian. The basic. The basic bag? Was it that one? Ooh, LaVon. Let's do that. Like, what's your dream thrift find? Is that what, is that what your, um, dream thrift find? Let's add one right now. Dream thrift finds. All right, LaVon. I just added one. So there's now a dream thrift find section in Discord. So, 
Leave what you want to find in there. Manifest it for yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ter I have I told you guys the story of how um, my dad, he uses voice to text. And we were like at the store one day and he was like trying to text someone but he was using his like voice text and then there was like an announcement or something on the intercom and then my mom and I were just like talking like kind of near to my dad but like we weren't that loud and then he was like you guys stop talking like my text messages are getting messed up and I was like looking at his phone and I was like it's not even picking us up dad like that's like literally the announcement right now on the intercom but it was funny I still can't believe he knows how to use that, though. Like, I was like, go, Dad. I didn't think he'd be, like, he was that, like, technologically advanced. Because I can barely ever use that voice-to-text thing. Oh, Spinning Prodigy. I'm always in the mood to go thrifting. What's your favorite thrift store? Where do you like to go? Like, do you, are you, like, a Goodwill or a Salvation Army? Or do you like, like, the more mom-and-pop thrift, like, thrift stores? Or like the not like the ones that aren't like a chain. Sometimes those like mom and pop thrift stores are the best. I love those. We're on thirty five, Adrian. Thirty four. Oh, thirty four. I really want to go thrifting tomorrow too. I feel like I'm not going to be able to go though. I do want to get some more of those croissant donuts. They're so good. I remember when they went viral like a while ago and I never had one until today and it literally changed my life and now I know what all the hype is about. And now all I want to do is eat croissant donuts and I want to eat the pineapple dump cake. I would love some pad thai. And <laughs> my diet is not going well this week. The next item that we have, this is a um, Coach wallet on a chain. I have that strap right here. But it's a croc embossed. I, I don't have a lot of croc embossed stuff. Look at that. We have the long chomp. We have the Coach. I think I had something else back there too. But it's in a beautiful blue color. There's a pocket back here. This has silver hardware. There's a little snap closure at the front. We have a zipper pocket right here. And then inside, we got eight card slots. And then there's a slip pocket in the back. This will fit your phone as well. And the crossbody strap goes underneath here. And... Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Um. Wait, do I have some of their stuff or no? Because then I wouldn't be able to drop it off until like Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, the last shipment that Vaderian is going to send out is probably going to be on Thursday. But I'm just going to take over everything else um, after that. So, you, yeah. So everything will still be the same, pretty much. It's just I'm going to just do the packaging for the next, like, week and a half. And that's going to be starting Thursday or, yeah, Thursday is when they're leaving. But yeah, Boots... Adrian's going on vacation. Oh, cronuts! That's what they're called, right? Those were the croissant donuts. Cronuts. So good. Uh, so this is our blue coach croc embossed wallet on chain with silver hardware. And this guy is... Okay, this one's 65. All right. And next up, we have 35. 
The, okay, yeah, cronut. They just called it a croissant donut at um, the, what's it called? At Paris Baguette that I went to today. They also had these really delicious cream cheese and jalapeno croissants. So nice. Uh, Boots, they're going to be gone for, I think, like nine days. And they're leaving on Friday? Friday. So. Thursday. Oh, Thursday night. Thursday night. Oh, Thursday night. Ooh. Palm Springs? Yeah. Oh, Boots, they're so good. If you have a Paris baguette near you, you have to get one of their do one of their croissant donuts. They're so good. The coffee flavored one was so yummy. That's the only flavor I've tried so far. But like my mom and I are obsessed. That's all we can think about now. Is how like we want more. So I'm probably gonna buy some more tomorrow. Because <laughs> they're so good. Okay. Uh, let's just do one more item and then we're gonna end it for the night. Um Let's end with... What are we going to end with? Where's my red shell bag? Oh, it's oh, there you go. Here's our red shell bag. Okay, last item of the night is... I know, Boots. I'm so jealous. I'm like, take me with you. <laughs> Oh, of course, sister of a down. Um, this guy, this one hits me just like right at my hip. So, it hits me right at my hip when I wear it. Just like right here. Sharon. You know, she's never made, um, she's never made croissants before, but I mean, like, maybe she could. Okay, the so last item is our Chanel, and this is a accordion flap in red with silver hardware. She's a beauty. There's a pocket back there. This opens up. Accordion. This holds so much. And then when you don't have a lot of stuff inside, it just like shrinks down too. So it's awesome. This is also great like to pack. Like if you're going to travel, this packs up really nicely because it's like flat. It's like amazing. So I just thought of that right now. This also does have a fun secret pocket on the side. And then there's just one interior zipper pocket in the back right there. And... Oh, Sister Vadan is calling it! Congratulations, Sister Vadan! Number 10 <laughs> is going to be... This of red Chanel accordion is number 35. This is how much bigger? Okay, this one's 2,500. Oh, okay, Boo, so you have tasted them. Before. They're so good, huh? The funnel cake, though, from Knott's Berry Farm. Ooh, and the fried chicken. <gasps> I'm struggling with a diet today. <laughs> all, all we did was think about food this whole day with my mom. So um, that was number 35. And I'm going to leave the link one more time for the giveaway. Uh, so make sure you guys can enter because we're giving away a... What's it called? Uh, one of these lint removers. The battery-powered lint remover. They're fantastic. These are literally the best. Uh, well, if you guys watched that video, like the haul video that I did where I got that Bottega vest 
and it was like super linty and pilling everywhere. I used one of these and I, I literally worked on that vest for like hours and I was able to get everything off. So now it looks really, really good. But there's that link uh, one more time and then we're gonna get ready to announce our winner. And then I'm gonna go eat a bunch of food because I'm really hungry. They're so useful boots. Um, if you're ever like Daiso always sells out of them, but Daiso is where I get lucky like finding them. <sighs> oh, sorry guys. Oh my gosh. Why am I yawning? That's crazy. Okay, are we all set? Oh my gosh, now my allergies are like going crazy after I yawned, of course. It's so weird. Okay, in three, two, one do, 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 do. Our winner is Sandra! Woo! The last book she read was Suffer Strong. Congratulations, Sandra. You are the winner of our giveaway tonight. And you are getting our electronic lint remover. Congratulations! Yay! Alright. Congratulations, Sandra. Um but don't worry, you guys. I actually have another one for our next live. So you'll have another chance to enter to win another one. Um, and that will be at the next live sale, which will either be... I don't know if I'm going to do one tomorrow. It might be Friday. Tomorrow or Friday? I'll let you guys know. I'm not 100% certain yet. But thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me tonight. It's always fun chatting with all of you. I love our, our late night chats. Um, I hope you guys all have a great day tomorrow. Have a great rest of your week if I don't see you. And for sure, live sale Saturday at 10 p.m. Um, the next one before then is still up in the air. So all of you guys know. All right. Thank you guys again. Invoices uh, should be sent out in the next 15 minutes. And... Oh, yeah, Tara. I'll ship it out tomorrow morning. I'll ship it out. All right, love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye!